Welcome to my channel, The King Lee Way. My name is King, and it's been a while since I have done a video. And today I am here in Cebu City, Philippines, and I am located near IT Park. So today's topic I want to talk about is three reasons why there are so many Koreans here in Cebu, Philippines, either visiting or living here. And today I prepared like my shabu shabu noodles. It is, and my bowl is very hot, so I am burning up right now. So before I start point number one, and I'm gonna give you three reasons, I'm gonna try to bite into this. Take a look, there's like my little sukiyaki meat that melts, just like a typical shabu. It is burning right now. So I'm gonna take a bite into this. Mmm, yummy, mmm. Yeah, so I put the work into this to make my own noodles. And, oh yeah. Sometimes I just cook at home and you can see the smoke coming. See, it's nice and fresh that I just cooked this. So, yummy. Hmm. Oh yeah, this is pretty good. Oh yeah, there we go. There's my bowl of noodles. Let's see if I can keep bringing out the smoke. Oh, look at that. Look at that smoke coming out of it. Yeah, this is nice and fresh. So, here we go. Yep, needs a you know what job. Hmm. Okay, so first point, Cebu, Philippines. Tourism. We have over 30,000 Korean residents living here in Cebu, Philippines. So there's lots of tourism. A lot of Koreans come here to escape. Best place to escape. Philippines is not super expensive to, you know, vacation here. One thing I love is Korean Air flies directly to Cebu. Don't have to go to Manila first and then come to Cebu. It's straight four hour flight. I love it too. So lots of tourism. And most of the locate, Koreans that are located is where I'm at at IT Park. I see a lot of them. When you go to Ayala Mall, oh, there's a Korean left of me, a local Korean right of me. So. Everywhere I look, there's a Korean right there at Ayala Mall. And they're even in like the Maktan Lapu Lapu area too. So sometimes when I take a taxi from Maktan to IT Park, on the way I see so many Korean businesses and restaurants. So that is point number one. So before I go into point number two, I want to bite into some more of this here. Ooh, look at this noodles. Yeah, I'm going to eat some of the uh, the vegetables that I have in here. I'm going to poke it in. Yeah. So here we go. See to see this steaming smoke coming out. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Pretty good. So here we go. Yeah. Nice. Here we go. Ah, uh, there's a little sukiyaki beef. Take a look. Oh yeah. Mmm, yummy. Pretty good. So, point number two why there's so many Koreans visiting or living here. Well, most Korean parents, Korean moms, they send their kid to the Philippines to do what? Learn English. Since, you know, the majority of the Filipinos can speak English, it's a necessary too here in the Philippines. And why do, uh, and, I, and I'm specifically push, it's going to say Korean moms or the Korean ummas. Why? It's cheaper to send them here instead of the United States, Canada, or Australia. Much cheaper to send them to the Philippines. And you have Filipina teachers, mostly Filipinas, a lot more women. And they 
can do the same job as myself as a native speaker can do. So yeah, it's much cheaper to go through the Philippines and put the kids into the English training centers. And my goodness, I've seen some of these places. It's unbelievable. It is so environmentally friendly. It's like a resort. So I'm gonna make a video when I can tour one of the facilities. And yeah, there's so many Koreans come here. And here's another benefit for the Koreans. They have to practice English. Unless if they just keep hanging around Koreans all the time and speak Korean, they ain't gonna get to practice. But when they have to go to businesses around here, they have to kind of speak English to get anything done. You hope. But you know, it's gonna make them practice if they're on their own and they're not hanging out with the flock of Koreans that speak Koreans. And, that, and it's not just for Koreans, it's just everywhere we go, you know, every community. Like when I have Koreans in America, they don't speak English as much because they're hanging with their own community. And I'll give you an example, my father. He's been in America 40 years, he barely can have a conversation in English. So that's, you know, what happens. But in the Philippines, you gotta kinda force yourself to speak English if you're gonna order anything or ask questions in the Philippines. So that's one of the reasons, you know, there's a lot of Koreans, especially the younger ones in those situations. Okay, so let's take a bite into some more here. Ooh, yummy, 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 yummy. Look at it, it's still steaming. Still steaming hot here. Oh, mm. oh yeah. Oh, I'm so happy to be doing this video for once. It gives me something to do here in the Philippines. <sighs> yummy, 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 yummy. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I'm even gonna do have a second helping. And then after I'm done with this video, I'm gonna go out tonight. Just check out hang around IT Park or do something. So I have some friends that are actually here from Korea. <laughs> mm. Mm. All right, part three, reason number three, why we have a lot of Koreans here is some of the Koreans, they run businesses. They run business here. So what do they do? Some of them run tour groups. So they go, okay, sign up in the tour. What a Korean, and of course, it doesn't look like it's very expensive to a Korean, but I sit there and look at the price, and I'm like, that's expensive. But hey, it, they feel more comfortable. For example, my mother's going on a trip to Europe. It's 33 Korean ajumas going on a trip. They're comfortable. And that's the same thing here coming to Cebu. They come in flocks. It's comfort. And of course, when you walk around IT Park and a lot of these areas, there are so many Korean restaurants, yeah. And of course, the majority of them are owned by Koreans. I actually went into a couple and talked to a couple here and there, so yeah. So there's a lot of Korean restaurants. Now I'm not gonna talk about the quality of it compared to Korea, because I don't know. I, I'm still t checking out more Korean restaurants when I get some time here. And they do other things like sometimes they even have like dormitory housings or something. Cause I, for example, down the block here, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, there's a, an apartment just for Japanese students learning English here. So yeah, there, so that could be another video about the Japanese that are here, but there are places where all the Koreans are put into those apartments or dorms just set up for them to go to English school and to just live abroad here. So those are the three main reasons. Now, if anyone has any other reasons why there's lots of Koreans besides the island hopping and going here and there, add, them, add some positive comments, not what the other stuff, because I'm trying to keep this somewhat fa family friendly on this situation. So yeah, so if you enjoyed any of this content, please uh, click the like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for future videos. So I look forward to seeing all of you 
and all of you have a great day. Take care. Bye.